and until these our comrades and many other citizens are free, we can never claim to have done enough. Enough is when they are free. As long as they remain in incarceration, we, 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 we need to push on all our foes to make sure that uh, they regain their freedom. First of all, I believe in the doctrine of uh, presumption of innocence. There's no way I can be part of a conversation to amend the Constitution or to manipulate the, leg the legal regime when these honorable gentlemen are in prison without a case against them proved. They're not guilty of any offense. The contention for us has been that their trial has inordinately delayed. The inordinate delay for us is a violation of their rights. And I hope when eventually the trial commences, I was in Kololo last week on Thursday with them in another attempt by our attorneys to, to have their freedom restored. A case was instituted on their behalf uh, with the view that we contend that the bail given to them earlier in Massacre Court still uh, um, subsists. The judge said to make the uh, her ruling on 29th this month on that application. So we are doing a lot. We have a case coming up tomorrow in the constitutional court on their continued incarceration. So we are pushing on these fronts that we think are in the space we occupy. We're not going to go and break into the prison at Chigo and have them out. I wish that was in my space. I would have them out yesterday. So we're doing what is available to us. And the question you were asking about being on remand for eight months, you're probably making allusion to uh, automatic bail. Automatic bail is alive to us. The, the, the question was that uh, after the 189 days, I contend, under the law, that somebody would be entitled to automatic bail, the, the, um, the charge by the state is that they have fresh uh, charges, to, on which charges they were, uh, they were remanded. The second time, after the immediately after their brutal arrest. So, let's wait and see the outcomes of these various fronts uh, we, we are trying to undertake for their freedom. I know for a fact that their constituents, their families, their parties are suffering, but we should not be blind to the fact of these two honorable colleagues, but also the plight of so many young people that are rotting away in army incarceration. We know the fate of NUP supporters that appear before the court martial every month as a matter of uh, uh, a ritual, which court martial looks cruelest on what to do with them and, until they are, they are ordered to do something about it. All these are violations of human rights that are going on, hiding under the law, that as long as they are in, in lawful custody, so they should be there come the court martial, uh, you know, for mention, and then back. These are very, very serious violations, and we take exception. Thank you for your time. And unless there's something that is missing that uh, we have talked about. Uganda. I think, uh, Lop, you can, uh, can summarize ask. in we Uganda. My suggestion would be Uganda the Honorable Senyonyi, who is the owner.